Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a tutorial on how to use the new conversation styles, or um, confection styles, I think is what I called them, um, to make conversation heart type elements. How to use that in such a way to make your own titles for your pages. So, or 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 elements for your pages really. Like like you might want to make a conversation heart that's not as sweet and kind as the ones in the box. I've seen some pretty hilarious ones. <laughs> but um anyway, I, I won't say those on here because you, you know I'm sure some of you have delicate sensibilities, right? No, not my not the people who listen to me. Y'all know I'm nuts. Anyway, um so to start off, we're going to create a title. Uh, I am going to use a font from Kimberly Guesswine, who is a really awesome font maker, and it's actually a conversation heart font. So um, ours is going to be Love It. Um, this font, initially, the spacing, it's all really close together. So what I've done is I've increased the padding uh, in between the letters so that they're not touching. Uh, what happens, at least with styles, is that if we don't do that, here, I'm going to show you. So this is me applying the style to to her um, to her font, just like that. Okay, well, what happens if I don't do the padding? Um, I'm, and you might like the way it looks, okay, so you don't have to do this. Um, I'm going to add the padding back to zero, and you see it, it like it smushes it all together like it's one. And, and that's not what I want. So uh, I think that's a little dark though for a conversation heart. So I'm gonna change the color a bit to be sweeter. I want it to be a sweet color like that. All right, but still this does not look proper, does it? This is not what we want. So I have a loved it title um, and I just added the font and it, it's not exactly what I want. I mean, it's kind of cool, but no, no, this isn't what we want. So what are we gonna do? Well. Um, this is why we're having a tutorial, because we're going to get crazy. All right, I'm going to actually crop this out so the computer's not trying to load such a large document. All right, and I'm just going to clear what I've done. All right, so um, we're going to start off by, hmm, what do we want to do first? First, we want to just take the hearts themselves, because what's happening when we use this font is that um, you see here the letters are cut out so it's making the shadow look a little wonky right like the inner shadow that's making it have a, a, a perception of, of depth so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my selection uh, tool my magic wand and I'm going to make sure that sample all layers is selected and um, hey hey oh I have the tolerance way too high I'm gonna make it not as tolerant there. <laughs> okay, so this is just selecting the outside of each one of these layers. The reason why we're selecting the outside is because if I went in and selected like this, that's still defeating the purpose, right? I just want the heart, right? So on the outside, and then I'm going to go to select, modify, oh, not modify, select inverse. I guess can, I need to learn that one, control shift I inverse. That's nice. All right. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is refine the edge. All right. So I'm just going to refine it by like one. I'm going to smooth it so we won't get any jaggedy looking edges. All right. So now I'm going to create a layer above it and I'm going to flood fill it in. Bam. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to go back to her, um, to the title, right? Loved it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my selection tool again but this time I'm going to select the inside of the letters, just like that. You guys get where I'm going now, don't you? You're like, oh, I get what she's doing. All right, so now that we have this selection, I'm going to add yet another layer. I'm going to decide what color I want the text to be. I'm going to refine the edge again to just smooth it out just a little bit, just a little. And I'm going to flood fill it in. And like that. All right, so what has this allowed us to do? This was the original font. And I'm closing that. Then we made our hearts, right? And then we added our text over it. Now our title is ready for styles. So now all it is is picking out which style I want to use for, for my little candy hearts. I think we're going to go with this one. And then I'm going to use one of the embossed styles for the letters. So um, I'm just going to kind of play around. That one gives it an outer look. These give them an innery sort of look. Perfect. 
What you can also do is take that layer and do a Control G or Control Alt G if you're um, in regular Photoshop, and it'll then take on even more of the characteristics of the style underneath it while still maintaining its own style characteristics. So let's do this at 100% so you can see. Or that's not really a big difference, is it? If I zoom in really far, you can see how that does. If I don't um, clip it, it's smoother. If I clip it in, it's a little more rough to take on the texture of how those candies, you know, they're not like perfectly smooth. Anyway, um, and plus that also allows you like this lower layer, you can just keep playing around like if you wanted to test to see what it would look like with the different um, styles, like how I'm doing. Because every style has um, three variations because some of the um, some of the styles don't look as good on light colors so I changed some of the blending modes so light colors wouldn't look wonky um, anyway like white whites and stuff oh I really think I like how that looks all right so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna merge those together so I could just be done with it and add a drop shadow and be like hey look I just totally made my own um, my own little confection heart title and I'm just putting a a background so we can kind of get an idea here. I'm going to clear some layer styles that I don't want it to. There, there. Well, what if we want it to be a little different? I'm going to teach you guys a little trick. Um, sometimes if I want to move my letters around, I, um, I use my selection tool. Oh, <laughs> if I'm on the right layer and I just kind of, um, I play with them a little bit like that uh, to, to just get them where I want them. You know, like I might, I might just, you know, a little different um, to just get it all together uh, and, and not have that spacing that I had before. So instead of just copying every single one, you know, you can just move them around a little bit until they're where you want them to be. The other neat thing about doing um, this here, so, so there, just loved is over there. Um, I'm going to undo what I've just done very much. I'm going to go back a little ways. Let's, let's hope I can go back far enough. I might not be able to, and that might make me very sad. Let's see how far back can I go? Perfect. All right. So I've gone all the way back to where things are their own separate layers, right? Like we have our, the color and then we have our hearts. Another thing we can do is create a layer above our hearts, take out our paintbrush tool and make our hearts different colors. Um, this is this is my cheater's way of doing this, like that. <laughs> it's not cheating if it's a method, right? Like it's just a different method. It's not. I'm not cheating. I'm just I'm just utilizing the tools that I have to do things the quick and easy way, <laughs> right? There's nothing wrong with that. All right, so here's some traditional conversation heart colors. Now I could change the text colors too, but I don't want to. Um, so now I'm gonna merge those layers together. All right, and then I'm now I'm gonna add my styles again to figure out which one I want, which ones do I want. I keep coming back to this one. I must really like this one. <laughs> um, you can see, see how the white one does there? That's why I created that blending mode was specifically for that. And my daughter's saying hello. She's just saying hi, people. Hi, people. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And again, I'm just going to pick one of the styles for the this part. I'm going to clip the layer to it, and I'm going to merge those layers together. And just like that, I have made, yet again, um, a totally different little title effect. So this time I am going to copy each one of these layers individually. And what I do myself, this is my, my trick if I was doing a page because I would want each layer individually shaded its own way, um, is I would do a control C, like copy it. Then I, while it was still selected, I delete it and then I paste it back in. So this is, this is my method to quickly, um, get things as their own layers, you know, without a lot of work. And this one, I, I know I'm leaving that poor it alone. I'm like, I just want to do loved. I just want to be loved. All right. Uh, now I'm going to add my shadows, doo -doo, just like that. And um, now I'm going to 
to move it around a little bit. Look at that. That's so cute. No one likes you, it. Everyone loves the loved. All right. Ta-da! So there we have it. Um, it, it. This is how you can use this not only to make alphas and elements, but look, to make your own little page titles and everything. Loved. You like it, right? That's cute. It's cute-ish. So um, have fun. I hope this has been helpful or informative, or maybe you learned a new trick, or maybe you learned even more how not great I am at doing some of these things. <laughs> have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.